In this video, we're going to look at vernier calipers. These are vernier calipers, and most people know how to use them generally, but I thought I might do a quick video on the different ways that you can use them. Most vernier calipers have some very common similarities. You can turn them on. Sometimes vernier calipers can become ever so slightly uncalibrated, and sometimes you might want to measure the distance between two points. So that's what this zero button's for. If you wanted to measure how much wider something was to something else, well, you could measure the first one, zero it, and measure the second one, and it might show you a very subtle difference in the sizes of them. You can also change your measurement units between millimeters and inches. This locking mechanism here is a little screw just to hold your vernier calipers in place so that once you've got the measurement that you need, you won't be able to accidentally move it. And of course, all digital vernier calipers need a battery. Here you can see the vernier caliper has become uncalibrated. So if I slide the jaws together and zero it, it's now calibrated ready for use. It's pretty obvious that between these jaws, it gives you the distance. So if I wanted to measure the thickness of something, well, I just put it between the jaws and it tells me the distance in millimeters. Now, there is a bit of an illusion of accuracy with these things. If I push really hard with these calipers, you can see the measurement changing. And that's because these jaws and the arm and the pressure of me pushing twists everything just a little bit and it's enough to measure. So when you go to take a measurement with vernier calipers, you really want to measure the distance and push firmly but not too firmly, and then just let it sit there. The other thing to consider is that it's very easy to measure parallel surfaces. You can see here on the vernier caliper jaws that there's a flat surface that will push against these flat surfaces, and so the measurement could be reasonably accurate. However, if the surfaces aren't parallel, or you're not using those flat surfaces, well, you can measure, well, if you can see it, you could measure, I'll exaggerate that a little bit, you can measure across the way and therefore the measurement will be quite inaccurate. So what if we want to measure the inside of something? That's what the upper jaws are for. You can measure the inside of a circle and you can see here that I'm moving it around a little bit to find the inside ridge. It's very easy to measure not across the diameter. Here you can see that I've purposely pushed the jaws not against the diameter, and I'm getting a reading that's not accurate. You need to open the jaws and move it back and forth a little bit to find the edge of the diameter of that circle. By the way, I'm assuming that that circle is perfectly round. It may not be. And if I turn it, you can see that it is. If you have a look at the other end of the vernier caliper, you can see this little sticky bit coming out at the end. So that's for measuring the depth of something. If I put the vernier caliper butt against the edge of a surface and pushed that down, well, you could imagine that I could take the depth of that. Here I'm going to place this over the surface just to give it something to press against. And you can see that as I slide it back and forth, I'm going to get the depth of that bearing. And it's gonna be something like that. It's a little bit inaccurate because I think there's a little bit of a rise between the edge of the bearing and this thing that it's holding onto. Now, if you have a look at the back of the vernier calipers, you can see this flat part here. Now, this flat part is kind of useful. If I press that flat part against an edge, well, I can measure the distance between that edge and a something. This edge here, and that flat part there can be useful to measure against. Here we can see that that is something like 17 mil. And if I measure the depth of that, here we can see that that is something like 17 mil. Obviously, this could be accurate if I had something to push against here to make sure the edges were together. But that's not too bad just by eyeballing it. And that's vernier calipers. Go measure something.